So let me go ahead and copy this over for you guys to OneNote so that I can show you some notes. Remove this and let me paste this here. Change the color, make it yellow. Let me remove this stuff. Don't need it. Great. And so now we have our function call. The fo This is called a function call. A sub a subroutine call same thing okay it is the line of code that has the name of the function and all of its associated parameters how did I know the parameters that were associated well in UFT I can type in the function name and push space and get the parameters or I can go find the function wherever it's located and figure those parameters out let me show you guys real quick so for example oh and the third option is to do control space you get the IntelliSense and you you can start typing function underscore open application see that it came up I'm gonna push enter it's gonna be selected I'm gonna push space It's gonna show me the parameters and the other option is to just locate this wherever it is and you can see the parameters that you need that's how I know that these are called the parameters the parameters the arguments all the same thing okay and then this is the function definition in this case let's call it a sub definition because it's a subroutine but these concepts that I'm teaching you guys, they will apply both to functions and subs. The only difference is what exactly the difference is that the subroutine cannot return a result and a function can. So this is the subroutine definition. So what happens when we execute this code? Well, the code is compiled and all of this is stored into the computer's memory and so now it knows everything that's going on and now it begins to run and it comes upon this line and like i said it sees function open application and then it says oh my gosh i remember somewhere there was a sub called function open application so let me go to that place and do what that sub wants me to do so let me get out my drawing tools so this will come here and find this and then the next thing it will do is it will check the parameters. The parameters it needs is one, two parameters. These are required. So where does it get the value for these parameters? Well, from here, we send the values right there. So this is the value of the first one. And this is the value of the second one, strurl. Right now, these are just variables with no values. 